Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch my vibe. Come on in and catch my vibe, y'all. And it's not a good vibe. It's not a bad vibe. It's just a, uh, um, I, you know, it's a vibe. But, uh, oh, okay. So, they all, both of them got there before me, huh? They didn't, but they just took off. You know, that's why I got my camera up there and stuff. You know, it's for people like them who just want to zoom out here. They barely stop at the stop sign. But anyway, y'all, I just had my COVID test done. You know, because I'm going to have surgery tomorrow morning. And they wanted to, me to have a COVID test done. And so, uh, I did. And... Uh, now, I have one done before, you know, when I had my colonoscopy. But um, this time it was a little different. I mean, this little half had tried to take the thing down my throat. I felt like through my nose and down all up and through there. She almost got slapped. And I mean that literally, honey. She was like, oh, no, don't do that. No, don't you do that. Okay? You ain't got to stick that thing down my throat. She talking about, well, that's, it's supposed to feel like uh, 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 it went down in your throat. Did it feel like that? I said, yeah, it felt like that. That's why I moved. I did that. Yeah. You ain't got to stick it down my throat. It ain't supposed to go that far. I don't know how. I didn't have one done before. You ain't got to stick it down that far. You just want to stick that up and down my nose like that. That ain't cool. Now, she really almost got the, from this here, caught from, Girl, from this winter, she was she was a, she was about to hit that ground, y'all. I'm serious. Don't play. You know, I know they gotta put it up there good and everything, but she went up, then she went down. You know, she went up and down. Had made me hold my head back. The last lady that did that, I did that, tilted back and all that, but she just stick it down to my throat. You know, try to when I start coughing. That's it. You done gone too far. Anywho, y'all. So I'm finna go and grab me a peach icy from Culver's because they got the best. But I just thought I'd get on here and make a video and let you guys know that if you don't see me on here for a week or two, you'll know that I'm recuperating. And uh, all is well, you know. I'm cool. I'm a little bit of a drama queen. I told y'all that because I don't take it for granted. I don't take it lightly that tomorrow is promised to me. So I certainly won't take it for granted that uh, I'm going to go through the surgery and, and, and you know, I'm, all is well, but anything's possible. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with something or going through something or whatever, they tell you to expect the worst but hope for the best. That's exactly what I do. You know what I'm saying? But I guess I won't know the best. Had I, if I don't wake up, I won't know well. I'm just saying. But all is well. I believe God, you know, everything uh, happens uh, in God's timing. And it's perfect timing, y'all. So, you know, it is what it is, right? But anyhow, so, you know, I want to talk about this. I, I don't really have nothing in mind to talk about, but I'll talk about some of the stuff that I've been seeing on YouTube. Uh -huh. You know, age of moving and she talking about she going to ride out this apartment she in. She done moved all her stuff out. And I'm probably late. Moved it all out. Moved it into the storage place. You know, except for a few items. Because she one step ahead of them. Honey, you can't never be one step ahead of them. Because they could be watching you walk out your door and go in there. What little bitch you got in there. And she said she could stand and lose. But listen here. That's just foolish thinking. Why even buy stuff and then be like, oh, I can stand and lose this. And you got to replace it all over again. And you ain't got that much in the first place. I'm just saying. You know, just make it make sense. Make it make sense. You know, people want to start all over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Well, you obviously don't have the means to be able to continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? You, you find yourself evicted, yet out looking for another place within a couple of months of you being there. Who does that at the age that you are or we are? You know, to get a certain age, you don't want to continue to be moving every two or three months or even every year. Shoot, when I moved here, I said, this is my last time moving. That was 10 years ago. I was like, I, I, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be able to keep on moving. Packing, honey. Packing is no joke. Packing up. 
You know, I find that moving in is easier than moving out. Moving in, you can put everything where you want it. But uh, moving out, you've got to, uh, you know, you just ugh, it's just more work to me. You know what I'm saying? I can get in there and put stuff where I want it. But when you pack it, oh, I'm going. They always got a lawn. Okay, and I'm addicted to these uh, lemon refreshed ices they have. I am. I'm addicted to them, you guys. And so, uh, here I am back again. I told my husband after my gallbladder surgery tomorrow to uh, come up here and get me three of these or four of these and put them in the freezer. And that's what I'll be eating on all day, you know, slurping on. Since I won't be, I won't be trying to eat no food. I'll probably be sleeping thirsty, okay? Because I'll be thirsty a lot. I wake up drinking water in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. So, uh, but anyway, so she's moving, and y'all don't mind me. I didn't, I didn't have on no makeup or nothing because this was a drive-through, and I just didn't plan on getting out, and um, I didn't really comb my hair, put no makeup on. I, I just brushed my hair down and put it, pulled it back. I did because you know, every time I have surgery, I get in my feelings. I do. I get in my feelings, and so I be feeling some type of way until it's over. And I almost, uh, look, do I got any money? Okay. I be in my feelings, you know, so, um, uh, I might just go ahead and get me two and get one for tomorrow and put it in the freezer. So here I am, guys. You know, so I, I I believe that you know I'm gonna have to do a lot of. Uh, I've started trying to start my healthier eating journey. I have. I started doing. I still, you know, kind of eat what I want sometimes. You know, I don't get crazy with it. But I believe after this, I'm gonna have to really, really, really watch what I eat. And um, I don't know that I'll be getting on here doing those um, mug bangs with the, you know, all that good wonderful fried chicken and fried fish and burgers and all that greasy food and stuff that we love to eat that's not good for us i don't think that i'll be doing any of that anymore y'all i'm not saying that from time to time i'm not gonna eat something but i don't think i'll for the most part i won't be trying to do it because i'm just not gonna do it because i want to be healthy you know what I'm saying? So I get on here with my healthy food. And if y'all like it, y'all like it. If y'all don't, well, you know. Because see, maybe if you see my journey, if you see me losing the weight, maybe you'll be inspired. Anybody else, I'm just saying, if you when you see my journey, and it's going to be a journey, then feel say, okay, you can go back and watch my videos and see the things that I did or was eating that, you know. Because I have lost some weight, y'all. I have. Because I haven't been eating there. Uh, now, last night, I don't know, yesterday, I was... I think I picked out yesterday. Yesterday, for the first time yesterday. Not, not really. I really ate one meal yesterday, but the snacks that I had um, yesterday. Oh, my last night I paid for it this morning. I mean, about 2 o'clock in the morning, my stomach was hurting again. I was having another attack. But that's when I was thinking that I wasn't going to have the surgery. I said, Lord, you know what? I just do. I'll just change the way that I eat. And I just don't think that my uh, situation is um, bad enough for me to I have to need the surgery. I only had two bad attacks flare-ups, whatever they call them, and then, the, the honey, about two hours later, I had another one. I said, I, I get it. <laughs> I said, okay, Lord, I know. I guess I need to do this then because I hadn't really had none. You know, a couple, you know. Anyway, but anyway, y'all. Yeah, so I guess I'm all over the place. And she gave me these papers to read like I'm going to read them. I ain't gonna read them. But anyway, so um, just talk about, yeah, you know, people, you know, when you get older, you know, you can't be doing all that moving around. You got to get settled and situated. I mean, but if you don't, if it's not a problem to you, then I guess, hey, whatever, float your boat. But listen here, we, at some point in time, we, you get too, you get too old to be trying to pay people to keep moving you from here to there. You know what I'm saying? Get in one place and get situated and stay there. How about you just buy a house? You know what I'm saying? Quit renting all these $1,200, $1,300, $1,500 apartments to get a darn house. Then you won't have to worry about being put out of nowhere because you buy a house unless you don't pay your mortgage. Okay, you can get your mortgage, a, a house, depending on where you live. You know, you can be paying a mortgage for that much. You know what I'm saying? Invest in, in your future. 
Invest in your future. Hold on, y'all. Let me get. Let me order. Okay. You're not gonna wait. You know, just invest in your future. Hold on. Search. Yes, please. Okay. And that'll be all. Okay, so you had two lemon ice, one with fish, one with mango. That'll be nine twenty-seven at the window. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nine dollars for two of them, y'all. I know. And so. Ooh. And I don't have no booger in my nose. That's my nose ring, if y'all see it, because I kind of leaned up there. The lady thought she saw, you know, thought my nose ring was. Yeah, anyway, it's not. It's my nose ring. Actually, I'm gonna get me another one because this one's so small. I had to change it. I'm gonna change it again. But anyway, let me pack my stuff. So they pulled me forward for two drinks, y'all. Two drinks! But they so good. Oh my goodness. They are so, so good. Uh, but anyway, and so what was I saying? You know, we just get to, you know, it's, it's, you know buy, buy a crib, get you a house. You know what I'm saying? You have to worry about getting put out. You know, that's the investment. You buy your house, you make your payments every month. Your name is on it. You don't have to worry about it. Find somebody that will sell you a house with little to uh, bad, mediocre credit. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody out there that'll do it. You just got to figure out where it is that you're going to live, you know, first and then do that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going from apartment to apartment. Them apartments be so small, not worth it. You can you can lay a crib out, shoot, okay? You can buy a fixer up or cheap and fix it up. Put some money into it. You know what I'm saying? You know, people out here buying butt surgeries and and, and injections in their face. And oh, y'all see? Uh, I don't know if y'all know. Not Cardi. What is her name? Cardi. Cardi. Um, she play on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, y'all. Have y'all seen her lately? Oh my goodness, I seen her on Saints and Sinners last night. Oh my God, y'all. Her this right here, ooh wee! She jacked, she was so beautiful. She was gorgeous, gorgeous woman. She messed her face up. She messed her face up. I mean, it's just, just. I I don't even know what to say. Then I'm behind, y'all. Why do they do it? Why go get out in them just thinking you look good? You was she was beautiful before. She didn't need to do that, but now she jacked up, honey. I looked at her and I was like, ooh. Girl, yeah, don't waste your money, honey. Don't waste your money. But this, y'all, I really ain't talking about nothing today. I ain't. I ain't talking about nothing. Y'all throw one up. Those that'll be here to the end and don't, uh, and, and, and that watches my, um, ads. I appreciate y'all. I do. I appreciate all my newbies. I've seen y'all in the comment section. You know, new ones here. I don't know who you are right off here because I'm in my car. But I thank you and I appreciate you. And welcome to the Rubies. You know what I'm saying? And if you, would, you know, like, you really like what you see, go ahead and hit that join button in the comment section and become a member and get some special perks if you are a content creator. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You too. this is the peach. This is the peach. And this is the mango one. Oh, I'll put that one in the freezer. I'm going to have that one tomorrow. After my, uh, I'm going to serve it to y'all. It's so good. It got a little twang to it, too. Oh, my goodness. It's to live for. I'm telling y'all. So now I'm sandwiched in between this guy behind me and this person in front of me. And it's not like I couldn't get out because I'm out of here. Because I know how to drive this car. Okay. Why wow, he all up on my butt. Anyway. Well, I like over stuff. They always give out fresh food. Now this peach one today, I don't know who made this one, but it 
it's a lot. Um, what's my job on the car? Mm. Woo! This one, the, the one they got yesterday, I'm kind of wondering, it was all liquidy. They didn't make it right like whoever did it today. But anyway, y'all. Yeah, but I ain't want nothing, y'all. I'm finna get off here because I done been on here for a minute, but let me see what's going to taste the best. Tell y'all, this is the mango. Ooh, that mango good too. Ooh, brain freeze. That mango strawberry good too, y'all. Ooh, but. I like the peach better. I like them both. Don't get me wrong. And my husband had got the lemon yesterday, so he likes the lemon. I like it too, but. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this is just like a regular old video, y'all. Yeah, I'm sure. It got real chunks of peaches in here. This is awesome. Culver's lemon ice peach. to live for. I guess at nine dollars and twenty seven cents for two of them. I better learn how to make my own at home, huh? But that's a bit costly. That's more than a two liter. I'm just saying. Well y'all can't see I got my whole pie face in the camera I do. And I'm gonna go lady. I'm gonna go but anyway, so what, what else did I feel there that I could touch on right quick, y'all? Let me could not hold, hold y'all up or whatever. Um, I think that's it. So y'all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Keep me in prayer. And until the next video, peace.